Hi, Dana. Hi, how you doing? John Wilson. Thanks for having me. And these are the puppies. I see them. They're cute. Can I see where you, have, where you raise them? Yes. Okay. Good girl. And so you raise the puppies down here? Yes. Come on, put up for this. So how old are the litter? Um, her litter was born June 22nd, and the next litter that we're going to see it was born June 24. Mm -hmm. She has too many dogs and really has no facilities to keep them healthy. We have uh, Pebbles. This is Pebbles. That's why I keep, keep her and her puppies. Mm -hmm. Is this the first set of litters you had? This is her first, her and Queen's first mm -hmm. set. This is a backyard breeding situation, a breeding operation that is underplanned, underfunded, that has no clear direction. The obvious answer is to find homes for the puppies and then to prevent this from reoccurring by having uh, the dog spayed and neutered. The, the problem is it's, it's got to be a tremendous amount of work to try to keep them clean down there. Yes. Because there's no water, there's no easy access. I mean, just, just be, must be horrific with this many puppies. That whole situation down there just isn't going to work because the air quality is just it's not acceptable. They're going to get sick. You know, they're going to get parvo, they're going to get respiratory disease, they're going to get something else going to happen. And, uh, and then you're going to have a huge disaster because you obviously care for these dogs, and you're going to have a, a lot of expense in trying to treat them. You know, I kind of think, if you don't mind, I think you're in over your head. 